And now for the nuts and bolts of putting up this kiln. I'm putting all the details for the specifics for costs and quantities of the materials in the description. I will say that most of the big ticket items were gifted to me. The fire bricks and the door and a few of the kiln shelves would have been a huge expense, so I am enormously grateful for that gift. The base layer in the barn was ground slate, which was from our neighbors getting their well dug. And then I used cinder blocks and cement board for the base of the kiln. These angled fire bricks worked really well for the base of the chamber. I tried to follow the little guidebook as much as possible, but some things just weren't available, like the two inch shelves that he called for for the lentils, so I had to improvise. And while he called for using house bricks for the whole construction of the kiln, I had a mix of hard and soft bricks in all sorts of different sizes. So it took a little bit of finagling to get everything to work. Same thing with the kiln shelves for the inside. I did take his suggestion of building a tump wall at the back, which the lower part is hard brick. And that's to protect the back wall in case logs hit it when stoking the fire. And the guidebook called for two inch thick shelves, which do not exist in the United States. So I used a combination of silicon carbide and these corduroy shelves. So hopefully that's going to be enough. I used the three inch thick fire brick for the supports for the chimney. The instructions had the damper as optional, but I decided to put in two narrow ones on each side of the chimney. I think that'll be much more functional, especially when it comes to shutting everything down. And the directions also called for using a pipe for the chimney, but I had enough bricks, so I decided to do that. And I needed to narrow the opening of the chimney to fit through the supports on the roof. So my fingers are crossed that all the ratios are right for the draft for the kiln. And all of my hodgepodge of materials ended up working together beautifully between the door and all of the different size bricks, the purchased angle iron, and all of the different kinds of kiln shelves. It's all come together like it was meant to be. It's all nice and secure with the angle irons and the galvanized wire and turnbuckles. And when it comes time to shut everything down after a firing, I can close off the crossbar portals and the lower air portals as well. I've got an easily accessible place to put my pyrometer and a perfect little peephole for keeping an eye on things. I had three more silicon carbide shelves to top everything off and then that insulating layer of kiln blanket. And then finally, two more silicon carbide shelves to top everything off. So I really hope this helps anyone else that's interested in building one of these small scale kilns. It is a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun, and I think it's gonna be just incredibly rewarding. So go for it.